Have you ever wondered why some people are good with money and others aren't? Is it about intelligence or is it more about behavior? Welcome to the unseen world of money, a realm where managing money isn't necessarily about what you know, but rather how you behave. This concept is poignantly explored in Morgan Housel's book, The Psychology of Money. One key point he makes is that wealth is what you don't see. It's not always about flashy cars, designer clothes, or exotic vacations. Instead, it's the cars not purchased, the clothes forgone, and the trips not taken. Wealth isn't about earning more, but saving and investing more. It's about the financial decisions you make, the discipline you practice, and the sacrifices you're willing to endure. It's about understanding that every financial decision is a trade-off, and wealth is accumulated by foregoing immediate pleasure for long-term gain. Remember, wealth is not about earning more, but saving and investing more. How do your emotions influence your financial decisions? Let's delve into the second key point from the insightful book, The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel. Money, as it turns out, is deeply emotional and personal. Why is that, you might ask? Well, it's because everyone has unique experiences and circumstances. This is why personal finance is more personal than it is finance. When it comes to money, we're not always as rational as we like to think. Our decisions are influenced by a myriad of factors, including our upbringing, our experiences, and yes, our emotions. These elements shape our financial beliefs and behaviors more than any spreadsheet or percentage could. Let's take a moment to consider this. Maybe you grew up in a household where money was always tight. This experience could lead you to either be overly cautious with your finances or conversely to spend freely in an attempt to compensate for those lean years. On the other hand, if money was never a concern in your household, you might not feel the need to budget or save. These examples illustrate how our past experiences and emotions can shape our financial attitudes and decisions. They underscore the importance of understanding that our financial decisions are not always driven by logic or facts. Rather, they are often influenced by our personal histories and emotional responses. So, as we navigate the world of personal finance, it's crucial to remember this. Your personal history with money shapes your future with it. Do you believe in luck when it comes to wealth creation? That's a question that might have crossed your mind a time or two. In the world of finance, two often unacknowledged players are luck and risk. They are the unseen siblings that shape our financial lives. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, isn't success all about hard work? There's no denying that hard work is a critical ingredient to financial prosperity, but it's not the whole recipe. Imagine two individuals, both equally hardworking, intelligent, and ambitious. One is born in a thriving city with ample opportunities, the other in a remote village with limited resources. Can we really attribute their financial outcomes solely to their efforts? Similarly, it's easy to label those in poverty as lazy, but that's not always the case. Sometimes it's about being at the wrong place at the wrong time. It's about taking a financial risk that didn't pay off. It's not always about the lack of effort or ambition. Luck and risk are two sides of the same coin. They're intertwined in ways we often overlook. A lucky break could catapult you into financial success just as an unforeseen risk could pull the rug out from underneath you. So next time you think about your financial journey, remember to factor in these silent yet powerful forces. After all, they're part of every financial success and failure. Remember, luck and risk are part of every financial success and failure. What's the most important quality for financial success? You might think it's intelligence, connections, or even the right opportunities. But according to the psychology of money, the answer is patience. Having a long-term perspective with money is paramount. It's not about quick wins or overnight successes, but about slow, steady growth. It's about understanding that wealth accumulation is a marathon, not a sprint. The most successful investors and entrepreneurs didn't get rich quickly. They got rich slowly, over decades of smart decisions and patience. This long-term perspective also means understanding the power of delayed gratification. The ability to resist the lure of immediate rewards in favor of larger future ones can lead to powerful financial outcomes. It's about planting seeds today for a wealthier tomorrow. So, if you want to succeed financially, shift your perspective. Start thinking in terms of years and decades, not days and months. Remember, it's not just about making money, it's about keeping it and growing it over time.